Hello, sports fans! Welcome to the Broadcast Booth. I'm Jason Aaron Goldberg, and this is Card Collecting Shenanigans. While you're here, hope you'll subscribe. It's May 12th, 2022, and we have an action-packed episode ahead. It is the first ever Hanger Box Hangout. We've got four hangers to crack, four little giveaways, and countless amounts of fun. We've got Ernie Banks and Yogi Berra in the dugout, and before we get to the Hanger Box shenanigans, we're going to send it right down onto the field, take a close look at those two cards, talk about why those two gents are in there, and our first giveaway, and then we're going to get into the first Hanger Box, which is going to be this heritage right here. Let's get it on! It's a big day for both the Hall of Famers in the dugout today. May 12th marks the anniversary of Ernie Banks hitting his 500th career home run in 1970. Got a beautiful Stadium Club red parallel here. And May 12th, 1925 is the birthday of the great Yogi Berra. Everything is better in chrome, so we have a nice Stadium Club chrome here. We don't often see a lot of Yogi Berra cards in the catcher's gear, uh, you know, with the back to you, the number eight. I love cards like that. You know, they just feel very heroic when you get the over the shoulder like that. Uh, so just really two sharp cards. Wanted to share, have those two gents in the dugout today. Now let's have our first giveaway in Hanger Box Hangout. There has been a lot of awesome action going on in Major League Baseball over the last few days. As I'm sure you well know, on Tuesday night, 22-year-old Reed Detmers threw a no-no for the Angels. The Angels are finally, finally looking really good, like a playoff team. And Mike Trout is looking like the Mike Trout of old, hitting like a beast. So the first giveaway here is this 1952 Topps Parallel of Trout. All you gotta do to enter is like the video, subscribe, and answer in the comments with who do you think is gonna hit more home runs for the Angels this year, Mike Trout or Shohei Otani. We will pick a winner and announce it in a future video. The captain, number two, Derek Jeter, number two is in the box, ready to rake, hopefully going to deliver some hits for us today in our first Hanger Box Hangout. We kick it off with some Heritage. We know Heritage is tough and Heritage is going to Heritage, but maybe we can get lucky and pull a Reed Detmers rookie card to go along with this Bowman card. I was shocked to see a no-no from him, 22. I wasn't sure he was going to do it. I actually got to catch the very end of the game, ninth inning. I just clicked on over, uh, and there it was. He was walking into the ninth inning. It was really, really cool. It's always fun to see a no-hitter. Uh, guys were emotional, they were talking, you know, a lot of those guys had never been part of a no-hitter either. Uh, the broadcasters had not been part of a no-hitter. Uh, I know Trout, I don't think, has ever been part, at least I don't think so, I think maybe, maybe a combined, but, uh, yeah, just really cool to see a no-hitter. Last year, they were coming, you know, with reckless abandon. You had, like, uh, Joe Musgrove and Anna, a lot of guys were throwing no-hitters last year, but they changed the ball again, and so we don't know if they're gonna actually come, uh, with as much regularity this year, I think it was already based on the amount of months uh, they had thrown a couple of them last year. Uh, with And with the amount of guys not throwing complete games anymore, uh, it, it's definitely rare. Let's see, we, I don't see anything shiny per se. We got something backwards. I was kind of hoping for a chrome, but heritage going heritage. That's We all know that's what it do. It is a rough product. I was not really getting that much heritage this year. Just not a design I'm super in love with. As I mentioned, trying to save my pennies a little bit for some higher end stuff down the road. As I hold this in my hand, it looks pretty nice. I'm noticing the bottom is really raw. So another reason that heritage is a tough product, you know, if you're a grader, Uh, like none of these with this this raw bottom, right? It'd be a tough guy. They look well centered, though. I will say that. Class A. Joe Ryan. I don't think any relation to Nolan, but I could be wrong about that. Yeah, I, I doubt it. New Brave Matt Olson. Max Muncy Pineda. Colin Moran. Oh, all right, Tata. That almost looks like an action variation. I was going to say, usually it would say somewhere. Nope, I don't think it is an action variation. It isn't because I'm looking at the code there, number 15. That's sneaky. That's very deceptive heritage. You know, most of them are, are, are pose, and then we got this action shot, and 
it's not an action variation. That would have been sick if we kicked it off with an action variation of a PC guy. Stanton also having a very good season so far. Altuve. Dehapa. Christian Yelich. Ooh, I thought maybe it was going to be an auto or something, but I don't even... Oh, just a short print. Wow, that was that's disappointing. I <laughs> was all excited for a second there. All right, Glaber Day. Glaber had a day. Uh, he had five RBIs yesterday, all five runs in the Yankee game. So very good job, Glaber. He's definitely poised. He's trying to have a bounce back season after a couple rough ones because I'm sure he, you know his payday's got to be coming up. He's hoping to play very well, get a nice payday. Adelise Garcia, last two. All right, well, we got Tata. Did not have that card out of uh, Heritage. A uh, little surprised we didn't get a little something else, but uh, hey, as we said right there, Heritage is going to Heritage. On to the next. While Reed Detmers completed the first solo pitcher or true no-no of the season, Justin Verlander almost matched him on the same night, had a no-hitter going through seven. It would have been his fourth career no-hitter. So in this giveaway, we're giving away a Prism Justin Verlander to enter, like before, like, subscribe, answer in the comments with, do you think he is going to get another no-hitter in his already prestigious career. We will pick that winner down the road. Next. No hits out of Heritage, so the captain is still sitting at the plate hoping to uh, make his way to first. Uh, or maybe he's just biding his time until he hits a home run, which you haven't had in a while, and can just do a round tripper. Uh, we don't rip a lot of uh, Panini baseball because we know, you know, I like the uh, licensed stuff. Uh, but I've been sitting on this for quite some time. Uh, I thought maybe I would do it, just give it away. I just really wasn't sure what to do with it. And then I came up with the idea of this little hanger box hangout. And so here we are. Let's rip a little Diamond Kings. I do believe that 2022 Diamond Kings uh, has either just released or is coming out very, very shortly. Erskine on the top there. Nice to see a little Brooklyn Dodger. We, get, looks like we did get a little something colorful here. Anything shiny? No, maybe that's just not not what uh, you get out of this. I've never, I don't think I've ever ripped this modern Diamond King, so uh, it should be a little bit uh, of a new experience for me and for you. I like the texture; it's pretty cool. Darvish, ooh, Papa Vlad, very cool. Polar Bear. Javier, Stank, Eddie Stanky. All right, Key Brian Hayes, not too bad. We'll take a little Key Brian. Freddie Freeman, I think enjoying life in Cali. Daniel Johnston. If you've ever seen the movie The Devil in Daniel Johnston, not Johnson, very, very good documentary. Sad, but excellent film. Trevor Story. All right, Yankee Estevan Floriel, who... I'm not sure if he's on the taxi squad or what, uh, but he has had a little bit of playing time this year. Uh, but he's, you know, theoretically the, the Yankee center fielder of the future and just is not getting a lot of playing time. Andres Jimenez. Ooh, that's really cool. I like the... I have seen these before. I think Fab Sub to hook me up with these. Uh, really nice frame here with the, the layering. It is a Cleveland Guardian. Uh, no one is guarding the Guardians from COVID. Uh, they have canceled games because they just got hammered. Uh, this might be a card that I could share with uh, one of my Guardians fans out there. Shout out to Haas and Scott. Let me know. All right. Artist Proof. Pretty cool. Raylan Marquez. Oh, Teddy Ball game. I have been uh, definitely a goal here is to try to pick up, uh, you know, some Red Sox cards for Fab Sub. Matt Spencer hooked us up so generously with the Don Russ basketball. So that one might have to make its way out to him. All right, Mike Piazza, Legacy Lithographs. Definitely a pretty looking card. Stan the Man. Casey Mize. I thought I would hear a lot more from Casey Mize, and I just, not a lot coming on. I don't know if he's pitching well or not. I don't, I don't know what's going on with Casey Mize. 
Zoinks! It's Scooble! I've been wanting to do that for a while. John Stever and Tucker Dane. A lot of pitchers out of that one. Uh, interesting, but I'm glad we got a couple cards we might be able to share with some fab subs out there. On to the next! It's not just all pitchers, because on Wednesday, Christian Yelich hit for the cycle for the third time in his career, tying the Major League record. It has been a minute. He's been nagged with injuries, but he is looking pretty good this season. So hopefully there's some Brew Crew fans out there that are interested in this giveaway, this nice uh, manufactured coin relic of Christian Yelich to enter. Of course, like, subscribe, and answer in the comments with, do you think he is going to hit a fourth cycle in his career and become the all-time leader in hitting for the cycle? I say it all the time, everything is better in Chrome. So our last two hanger boxes are Chromey Chrome. Uh, Mosaic Basketball was pretty good to us during Fat Pack February. We did rip a couple uh, hangers of Mosaic. So uh, we're still looking for a hit. Jeter stranded over here. I basically, in my mind, was considering, you know, anything numbered, uh, short, you know, uh, action variation out of hair. Do we pull something like that or a crump? Something like that. And so far, nada. I think we are going to have to uh, at least have him make some kind of move here. Maybe he's saving it for uh, the Topps Chrome hanger because it has the pink inserts and they're pink waves. And you know that I love hashtag chasing pinks. All right. Got Jaron Jackson Jr. having a pretty good run here in the playoffs. I uh, actually pulled a couple of really cool rookie cards of his in his rookie year, so I'm glad he's playing. You know, he was injured for quite some time. Speaking of injured, Jamal Murray, hopefully he can come back because uh, he, you know, in, in the bubble was showing out. Okay, Bazemore. Al Horford playing like a younger man. All right, there. I told uh, Fab Sub Matt Spencer that I was going to be looking for some Celtics. All right, a little Celtic action for him. Jason Tatum. All right, there we go. That'll get Jeter to first, the Ant-Man. Love it. I love dunking cards are just the best. Very, very sharp. Yeah, dig that. T-Mac. I pulled a lot of a Kong Wu. Devin Vassal. All right, we're getting into the color here. Ooh, quickly. Pulled a good amount of quickly. Zach Levine, orange. Looking very, very cool. Not going to advance Z Jeter yet, though. Not on that. THG, come on. We need a PC guy. Not Azabuke. Oh, what a Jam Masters. That'll get him to second because I just like the look of the Jam Masters. I think with the big head this year. I thought they were going to be more common, and I think I only pulled one, maybe two, out of Fat Pack February. And we, we ripped a good amount of mosaic, so I consider that a hit. And our last card... Jason Terry, bang! With LeBron in the foreground. That's this is a throwback. I was gonna was like, is Jason Terry even in the NBA? I mean, he's been, he's been retired for a bit, right? Pretty cool though. Card collecting shenanigans, fab subs, or shenana fans have spoiled me rotten over the last couple of years. You know I appreciate it. So I wanted to get a PC stud into the hangar box hangout giveaway. Who better than Aaron Judge? We got a 2018 Rookie Cup Future Stars here of Aaron Judge because on Tuesday night, he hit his first ever career walk-off home run, and it was majestic as hell. I can't believe he's never hit a walk-off home run before. So all you got to do to enter, like before, like, subscribe, leave in the comments your answer to do you think Aaron Judge is going to hit 50 or more home runs this season? He sure looks on pace to do so. Hope you all enjoyed the couple giveaways we got here, and on to the final hanger. We've got the captain sitting on second base. The big question of the hour is, can he score today? We're going to find out. This is the only hanger I have of this. I picked it up because I wasn't aware that the, the pinks were in the hanger boxes. I also wasn't aware that the hanger boxes essentially are value packs from 2021 update uh, because they're just individual packs inside. You get five packs, four cards a piece. Yes, it says so right there, Jason. 
These are still available on Target.com. Uh, I think a lot of people out there in the hobby are making comments about the fact that you know print runs must be bonkers if there uh, is this much stuff still sitting on Target.com. But I'm not really going to cry about that because if it gives you the ability to access cards at the regular price, that's what we want, right? The, re the reselling on eBay is just out of hand. The prices are silly, so... I thought about maybe getting more than one. We'll see if I like this rip, and then uh, I'll consider it. But, you know, you got to pinch your pennies in the hobby these days. All right, Brian Garcia. More out of Lise Garcia. I was, I'm expecting big things out of him. Uh, he had a good rookie campaign, good season last year. Hopefully he can uh, keep going. So I've got a couple of his Bowmans that, uh, Bowman rookie cards that I'm hoping are going to be worth something. All right, Nick Matten. Not too familiar, but second base shortstop. Perhaps he is there to usurp Didi Gregorius. I don't get to see a lot of Philly games, so I don't really know if he's with the team or in the show. I don't know what's going on with that. All right, first pink. Oh, and Joe Adele. Okay. Uh, that would be exciting if he had not been designated for assignment fairly recently. So that leads me to believe that uh, he's just not living up to the hype. Uh, could be wrong about that. Let me know. All right, Sixto Sanchez. Let's go backwards. All right, Dylan Carlson. Oh, it's a rookie date. All right, Ryan Mountcastle. We pulled that sick Bowman of Ryan Mountcastle. Um it was like numbered out of, I can't remember what his number was, gold, it was cracked ice kind of look, it was it was awesome, and he is someone to keep your eye on, for sure, very, very good player, all right, so our rookie debut pink is Alex Kirilov, okay, so again, I don't get to see a lot of Twins games, but I do understand that he's a pretty good ball player, I have to keep an eye out, I'm just noticing here the centering on this is awful. I mean, look at how terrible that is. But it, other than that, these are sick. Wow, they had the pink waves uh, as special inserts last year. This thing is killer, though. Wow, that looks so cool. I'm just going to set it back here. I wish it was centered better, but still really, really sharp-looking card. I like that Bud Light in the background. Pretty cool. Ooh, something feels extra thick here. Oh, no. We get, oh, okay. Oh, for a second there, I thought we had some seriously classic shenanigans. I thought I was going to get... I saw that, and I was like, oh, did we get some sort of, like, a half a card? That would have been appropriate for card collecting shenanigans. All right, Christian Pache. Shout out to my A's fans out there. Definitely. I know he's not hitting quite the way people would like, but he's playing that D. Hassan Kim. And our die cut. I think a die cut's going to get Jeter to third. Oh, and it's Hall of Famer Rod Carew. He converted. That will get you to third, DJ. Two packs to go. You know, the funny thing is I've had Rod Carew uh, in the all-Jewish team throughout the eight breaks of Hanukkah. And then I was reading not that long ago that he actually, he basically married a Jewish woman. And he sort of practiced. And his kids, I believe, were bar and bat mitzvahed. Um, but then after they split up, he was like, yeah, I'm not really Jewish. So I don't think I can really have him on the all Jewish team anymore. Now I would say Jeter could score on the Cronut, but it's just a regular rookie card. So I don't, and I kind of want to save that last pink. Oh, it looks like it was a Minnesota twin. So I don't know how exciting it's really going to be. Oh, we got some. Oh, we got a black, black gold. Pretty cool. All right. Zach Wheeler. More Taylor Trammell. Did we just get uh, shenanigans? Oh, that was the Taylor Trammell. All right, so we got the Taylor Trammell hot box. Yeah, not bad. And it is... Oh, it's Clayton Kershaw. Having a very good year. Another guy who almost threw a no-hitter. Probably was wise to keep him out uh, or pull him from that game. You know, you're looking at the long haul. And so 
you don't want to risk injury for a guy his age. Although I got to say, uh, Reed Detmers, his curveball reminded me of Kershaw a lot. Just very loopy, right? But coming in at about 71 to 73 miles an hour. And we like the Cronut. He's, he's struggling a little bit. Tyson Miller. Brent Honeywell. And, oh, it's a Nat. Oh, I was going to say B. Soto, but it's a rookie card. Oh, oh, there we go. Luis Garcia. All right. Well, at least both of our pinks were rookie cards, but both of them are cut terribly. That is a little taste of classic shenanigans just in terms of the quality control, but really, really cool cards. I would love to get maybe a lot of them. I, I was peeking a little bit online to see if I could get a lot, but I uh, just haven't been able to pull the trigger on it. Uh, no big home run. I feel like Jeter stranded at third. Uh, just nothing really jumps out and says, you know, big hit that would make you score, Jeter. So it was a good time. I enjoyed the hangar box hangout. I hope you enjoyed the giveaways. Let's send it down onto the field for a quick recap of some of the highlight polls. They aren't monster hits, but they are highlights for me because obviously as a Tata PC guy, uh, that's just a really cool card to have. Uh, shocked, actually, that that's not an action variation. I, I really, I can't wrap my head around that. And also very pleased to pull an art of hitting insert a titty ball game. Uh, you know, I got a lot of Red Sox fans that watch the show. And I'm certain I'll probably pass that on. As I said, I was going to really work on some, uh, some spoils for Matt Spencer. So that was probably calling your name. Let's take a look at a few more. We had a pretty good mosaic hanger. No monster pull, uh, but pleased to pull the Ant-Man rookie card. I took a closer look at it. It does have some surface issues, uh, but I'm not really going to move it, so I'm just pleased to pull that. And, of course, the Jam Masters cards are just a hoot. They got the big head and the basketball in the background. I'm wishing I had pulled one in a color variation, but uh, I, they're just fun to have. Let's take a look at a couple more highlights. I wanted to give the pink chrome wave cards one more chance to shine before we look at the final two highlight polls because they do look awesome. Uh, the cut, admittedly terrible, uh, but a nice change uh, to the pink chrome inserts in Topps Chrome Update. They'll find a nice place in my pink chrome binder. All right, let's look at the last two. Our final two highlight polls, Clayton Kershaw, a certain first ballot Hall of Famer, and Hall of Famer Rod Carew. Uh, the die cuts out of Chrome are really cool. I'm glad they included them this year. And, you know, growing up as a kid, the Topps Black Gold inserts were really tough to pull, so it's really cool to see them back kind of in circulation. Uh, that I have a number of Dodger fans out there watching. Uh, that card could perhaps make its way to somebody. Uh, and before I close it out, uh, you know, the, I hope you enjoyed the giveaways. Uh, anybody can enter. You can enter for all of all four cards if you want, or you can pick and choose whatever you want to do. It was just something I wanted to try out, a little change of pace, you know, going up and down on the field and mixing it up and, you know, shenanigans. Uh, so leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the hangar box hangout, the giveaways, the polls, all that good stuff. Always looking forward to reading your comments. Slam that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. Tell all your friends, and I'll see you next time in the broadcast booth.